Hi friends, uh, good morning everyone. I hope all of you are doing good. If you came to our channel for the first time, click on subscribe button. In this video, I'm going to tell you about that uh, S4HANA releases. I think we are also getting confused sometimes and uh, even I get comments about these uh, uh, different different releases are keep on coming from SAP. So even there are differences for the cloud, the releases are different and on-premise releases are different. In this video, mostly I'm focusing on uh, on-premise related. So you can see here uh, the first one, uh, SAP S4 HANA 1610. So SAP is to send based on the month and the year. So 1709 in 2017, September 1809, September 2018, and 1909, September 2019. From um, if you see here from 2020 onwards, uh, what SAP has made it like um, they can release because you know, right, uh, when 16 to 19, there are significant uh, differences are there. And 2021 uh, keep on adding certain kind of uh, e-bytes, like a certain kind of new functionalities are adding. So they stopped uh, mentioning about that month. Okay. So you can see here from 2020, the new nomenclature is uh, switched to year from YYMM. So that's why from uh, 2020 onwards, you can see S4HANA 2020, S4HANA 2021, and S4HANA 2022, okay? They can release in any month, September, October or something, but uh, the name will be next year onwards. For example, now 2023 is going to come. So it will be S4HANA 2023. Don't confuse with the month and year uh, now onwards because all releases will be S4HANA 2023. So in e ECC time, we have that enhanced meant uh, package is right ehp so in the similar way every year uh, sap is going to release uh, on premise latest editions because the r and d keep on happening in the back end so any new functionalities they are going to add they will release in the respective year so i hope uh, you can uh, get that difference between earlier versions with month and now there is no month so it will be here if you're going for any certification also, you will see SAP S4 HANA 2023-22 like that. So I hope all of you are upgrading to S4 HANA, but I want to tell you one thing that uh, the differences, certain area are 95% is same as ECC, certain area 100% is same, certain area 80% is, 70% is, okay, still the overall I can say 70% is same as ECC. So the people who are not confident in ECC, they just started, they don't know even the basic processes and uh, the functionalities. Please uh, don't too much worry about the S4 HANA things when you're working on ECC, get command on that and learn S4 HANA, okay? So that you will feel that, oh, these many differences only, okay, very less difference only, okay, in uh, that area, vendor master area, we have the business partner. So, okay, these tables have come. That differences, you can easily differentiate it, okay? You don't know proper ECC and you're not learning uh, proper ECC and they again, if you switch to S4 HANA, okay, off, off, I'm saying, if you're completely uh, a fresh student, I, I recommend you to start uh, S4 HANA learning, okay? That will be better for you. Until you get any brownfield implementation, then you may little, uh, not little, you may struggle sometime, like uh, difference between ECC, S4 HANA, that kind of a thing. So don't uh, think too much that S4 HANA is like a completely new one, okay? Still, you are going to use SPRO. So all those stuff, you keep it in mind and upgrade to S4 HANA because that is the feature for us, um, whether it can be on-premise or uh, private or public or hybrid, okay? What kind of uh, solution you're going to work. Uh, keep learning, keep understanding the business processes because uh, you are a function consultant, not just uh, doing in the system. Okay, the business processes understanding, whether it is ECC or S4 HANA, it will be always required. Thanks for watching. It's a short video. Just I want to tell you about this S4 HANA releases and the difference which happened from 2020. I hope it is clear now. And before leaving, please subscribe to our channel and keep encouraging me by sharing our videos and with your comments of encouragement. You can comment if you like a video. It will be an encouragement. If you don't like a video, give the suggestion. That also will be helpful for my growth. And if you feel some concept is very good concept, but it is not available in our channel, first you search with the text by Ganesh Padala. If you still don't find it, then put as a comment. Definitely, I will note down in my notebook. And one day, whenever I plan new videos, I will try to consider your concept. Thank you.
have a good day